Before we see the types of terms, we need to understand the concept of the power of variables. Let's consider two different terms. The first term is 7xy and the second one is 17x cubed y squared. Observe the first term. It has two variables x and y. What is the power of each of these variables? The power of x is 1 and the power of y as well is 1. Now look at the powers of variables of the second term. The power of x is 3 and the power of y is 2. Both these terms have the same variables x and y but the powers of each of the variables are different. Let's erase this and jump to the concept of the types of terms. There are two kinds of terms, like terms and unlike terms. What is the difference between them? Two terms are like if they have the same variables with the same powers. Don't worry, we will understand this with examples. When are they unlike then? Two terms are unlike if they have different variables or same variables with different powers. Let's zoom out and understand a couple of examples. Consider two terms, say 7xy and 15xy. Are these two terms like or unlike? Remember, to know the type, we just have to look at the variables and not the constants. Both these terms have the same variables x and y. But that is not enough to tell us if they are like or unlike. The next thing we need to compare is the power of each variable. The powers of x are the same in each term. It's 1. And yes, the powers of y in each term is also 1. As both these conditions are satisfied, we can say that they are like terms. Same variables and same powers of each variable. What about 3x squared y and 3xy cubed? Are they like or unlike? Both the terms have the same variables x and y. Now let's compare the powers of each of the variables. Let's look at the power of x first. In the first term it's 2 and in the second it's 1. It's not the same. Even though the variables are the same, because the powers are not equal, these are unlike terms. Observe that we do not bother to check the powers of y in each case. Remember, if the powers of one of the variables is different, the terms become unlike. What about 8xyz and 8xy? The first term has three variables, x, y and z, and the second term has just x and y. It does not have z. Both the terms have different variables. Hence, they are unlike. Just remember these two things and you would have no problem understanding the types of terms.